And now it's not enough leak that you are going to immediately depressurize, because otherwise gloves wouldn't work. Gloves, all, all of them have that bearing in them. Um, I, I, I think I've literally never seen a, a, a full-on spacesuit that doesn't. So you, you, there's a minor leak. That's, what, that's why you have to be either connected through an umbilical or have a primary life support system on your backpack. You, do, you are losing some amount of oxygen, and a, a major place to lose that is, is wherever it seals. You know? So around the, um, uh, if you have a visor that slides up and down, it'll, it tends to leak through there. The helmet disconnect, because that doesn't need to move, that is normally gasketed so tight it's not really a problem, but you're moving your wrists. It's gonna, it's gonna leak through there. And then now you have an even bigger leak point right there. Um, if you do have it, f so, so it's not a bearing at all, it becomes really difficult to do this sideways. So you can put stress risers uh, across the side. I've seen some that um, are like a cable running across here so that when you're bending, it's the same thing with the hand where you have something to bend against. It's just like if you took a, a, a stiff balloon, like a full on you know, party balloon, try, try bending it, it's not gonna bend. If you put it against the corner of a table that isn't so sharp a corner, you pop it, obviously, but like a soft edge, you put it there, it's gonna bend, it's gonna dimple there. And then you could ostensibly, you know, you can lift your arm all the way up. So I've seen ones that do that. Um, and one of the hardest motions is actually this, to bring it in. Um, so what some suits do is they actually have a cable and pulley system that you can see once you take that layer off. So when you're doing this, it's actually changing position and it's got a cable that runs through here and the pulley's you know, right about here. So you can bring your arms in and it's help you. So you have these mechanical aids. But that's, you know, that's added hardware weight, that's um, added sticking points, that's, it's an added failure mode, basically. So if you, can, if you can engineer the pressure layer purely through geometry, that's, what, that's absolutely what you should try to do. The earliest spacesuits um, for all the earliest astronauts, those were totally 100% custom made to them. Um, when NASA moved to the shuttle program, they were actually, they had more astronauts they had a whole state, you know, and continue to have a whole stable of astronauts, effectively, only a few of which will ever be going up at a time. And spacesuits are really expensive. So actually, they do have a small, medium, large situation going on. And they have to, they discovered that um, when they started putting women up, that women, you know, tend to be smaller. And they were having that Kilroy situation. They were, especially with the, the hard upper torso on the EVA suits, the women were just rattling around inside of there. They couldn't see over the top. They were, it was ending right here. They couldn't bend their shoulders. They were having a major issue. So they had to make, um, th at that point it was basically they had me uh, medium and large, so they had to make a small. And so you, you can sort of, there's, there are different ways you can do customization. You can do fully, like exactly to that person but then you better be sure that person's using it a lot or not care about the expense. When you back off a step, you start doing small, medium, large, but with, okay, you need a large of this, but a small of that. You start doing mix and match a little bit. Um, so maybe longer sleeves and... Exactly, exactly. So you do mix and match customization. Taking a step back from that, even you get, um, you know, just a whole thing is small, medium, and large. And again, if once space becomes routine, if this is something that a high volume of people are going to need to do, but only once, you know, just or periodically as opposed to all the time, that may be beneficial to you. That may be what you need. So there's a high degree of, of um, priority planning that goes into the design ultimately. So, um, it, it would be dis, to, to orbital outfitters' disadvantage to say, this is what we're doing. We do small, medium, and large, or we do full customization. You know, what do you want? What do you need?